this new announcement and new update took me by surprise. I don't even know what they did with Captain, but hey, at least they added the Cypher skin. They revamped uh, Cypher's uh, tactical and uh, they've added a uh, UR Bar 95 legendary skin with a kill effect, guys. They completely changed the recoil of the AK and some other guns. Guys, this update is crazy. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys. Hello, everyone. Go. I am your host, Lazy Cat. Lazy Cat. Back with some new updates coming your way, November thirtieth. All right, all right. Farlight eighty four is evolving. Wait a minute. What did they do to Captain? Ah, uh, that looks like a huge, big ass baby in diapers. What did they do to Captain? And the next update will provide a sneak peek at what's coming throughout the next few months. Now grab some snacks and I'll share with you what's next. Oh, don't worry, I got my snacks 30th. ready. First, let's talk about hero changes. In the past few updates, we've reworked a few Ooh, heroes hero including changes. Magus, Duckside, MKR and more. And in the next update, we'll bring some new magic to... Cypher! No way! They actually revamped Cypher? First, to enhance Cyber's diversity and tactical choices, her tactical skill will be changed from area recon to coordinate shift. With her new skill, Cyber will throw an electromagnetic pulse. No way! This is literally like Loba. Loba from freaking Apex, dude. With her. Oh my god, dude. That is crazy. What do you guys think of this change? Device and monitor its coordinate changes. During the device movement, pressing a button allows you to go to that coordinate where the device is now located. Otherwise, the decoder will be directly transported to the coordinates where the device lands. This means Cyber can adjust more flexibly during combat. For example, she can quickly teleport to somewhere near the enemy and apply her ultimate EMP shot. Oh my shot, god, that is insane. Defense I like it, I ain't mad about it, I ain't mad about it. Activating their jetpacks. Just like how we adjusted the other heroes, this change will help Cyber to become more proactive in combat and fun to play with. In addition to this new playstyle, Cyber is also coming along with something the community has been asking Ooh, for a long, skin. long time. The long-awaited SSR skin for Cyber Wild Player. This new skin is inspired by the classic street gaming arcade style. And coming along with this style is MKR's new SSR skin, Fnatic Mac. The series comes with some interesting special effects that you'll definitely love. Both skins will be available in the all-new Battle Pass Pixel Bliss for the next season. Apart from these two skins, let's take a look at the other lottery skins coming your way in the next update. New chest event! Oh my god, finally we are getting a bar skin, guys. Finally we are getting a bar legendary SSR UR skin, dude. That's crazy. Sandy Illusion will bring us a brand new Bar 95 UR skin. In the merciless desert, only the most daring adventurers can survive. Also, introducing the new lottery wheel, Polar Adventure. Another Maggie Crazy skin, guys. Hot pizza in the I bet you're happy about this Maggie skin. Freezing Arctic, look no further than Maggie's new SSR skin, Absolute Zero. Starting from this version, will gradually enhance the artistic style of the game. You've shared a lot of ideas about the game's art style, including suggestions. If you guys don't know who this guy is, this is Lazy Kaz. He came from T3 Arena, and now he's working with Farlight84. I think he's a, an excellent addition to the team. He's been covering all of the uh, What's Next videos. For a new lobby art. That's a fantastic idea, but to do that, we need to first redefine the style of some characters so everything can look coherent. You may have noticed that many new skins released recently share a common theme. They all look trendy, quirky, and modern. Knowing that you love how these skins look, we'll start by expanding the aesthetics to some of the heroes that don't share these traits. And the first one is oh, our Fireman, God. 
Captain. Captain has a low selection rate, averaging only 3%. Unlike the other characters, we feel that Captain lacks his unique personality with the current character design and would like to update his look. The new Captain will have a more prominent personality, showing his robust physique with a gentle and reliable twist. Inheriting his I don't mind changing a character's look or design to fit this the 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 whole theme and GFX, but guys, that looks like a big baby. That looks like a big baby with all he needs is diapers and a pacifier. What did I do to my captain? This was once my main character, bruh. What do you guys think of the? Just let me know in the comments. What do you guys think of this change, please? Instructors will and continuing I ain't the having truth, it. Captain will become the synonym of justice and will remain a helpful friend of the neighborhood. Being a skillful fireman, his Aqua Blast skill deals extra damage and slows down the enemy. What did you know? The effects actually become stronger when used closer to the enemy. I bet most of you don't know because so few of you play as Captain. Now, to reintroduce this hero to all of you, we've prepared a video to tell you more about Captain. So remember to subscribe and hit the bell for more Battle Royale content. What's that? Captain's dancing? Listen closely. His dance comes with music now. In the upcoming new version, we're introducing special sound effects and background music to some dance emotes. I really can't wait to try them and piss some people off. In addition to the dance emotes upgrade, in this update, we're introducing a new item, Kill Announcement. When you kill an enemy, everyone will see this announcement. Everyone! We're talking about showing off! This will become a brand new way to highlight your perfect kills. I finally have some new motivation to practice my shooting skills. To make the gameplay experience more sophisticated for the long term, we're planning to make some important... So basically those highlights, I think now you can equip them. I think you can buy some and win some and then you can equip them as highlights. So you can personalize your own uh, kill effect. Changes to the weapons in Farlight 84. So far, you notice that the recoil of our guns is designed to be relatively low compared to other oh, games. Okay. The result what are they gonna is change that now? it is relatively difficult to distinguish the unique feel of different weapons within the same type. This has created a weird situation where some guns feel so similar and some guns are not that useful in most situations. In this update, we'll start working on this part of the gameplay generally known as gunplay. We will start by adjusting the feel of the AK-77 by making it feel realistic to hold and shoot. The first aspect is bullet spread. So far, all Whoa, of our weapons that's a lot have of fixed bullet spread trajectories, Jeez. not random. And in this update, randomness will be introduced first to the AK. The bullets to fire to the AK will no longer feel stale. Oh my god, that's gonna be hard. Organically within the crosshair range. The second aspect is recoil. We've fine-tuned AK's recoil in this update increase- Well, I guess it's nice now they'll give like all of the guns some variety and it lets, you know, it gives you some time to master your favorite guns. So I guess this is a good thing. Let's see in-game though, let's see. Because this is very different for PC and mobile, it's completely different. Using its maximum value. This means that you feel that your gun shakes a little bit more than before and its shooting accuracy may become lower. While this feels more real, you have to put more focus on controlling AK's recoil. The third aspect is audio. We plan to strengthen the immersion of these weapons by improving how they sound. Oh, they the changed next it. Update, the audio of the AK-77 and FAR-95 will be updated. The new sounds will have a more realistic texture. You'll experience that sounds clean. More the bar sounds clean. Feedback. Let's take a look. Okay, okay, I like it. It's so it's it's closer to being realistic, like an actual war game. But let's see. Oh, the bar has an impact now. I like that. 
Overall, our goal with these adjustments is to raise the skill ceiling of gunplay, giving you more room to learn and master the weapons. Your full potential will be expanded, creating gyroscope, an guys, gyroscope. That longer. You may ask, will that make it more difficult to play on mobile devices? We totally understand your concern, so the mobile experience will be optimized by recalibrating aim assist so that the experience still fits well in the palm of your hand. We're preparing a special announcement video to talk more about these upcoming changes and share some design thoughts on making the Farlight 84 experience even better. So subscribe and follow us to stay tuned. Next up, events. The event column is introducing Ooh, a new announcement section. In the future, updates and announcements will be displayed right here, making it convenient for everyone to understand the details of the updates and know what's happening in the community. For example, we'll post anti-cheats updates right here for you. While we kept updating the ban lists every week on social, not everyone gets the information because of social algorithms. Now, this info will be shown right here, so every one of you gets to know the latest news. And good news! Rewards are getting even better in the events. Now the daily tasks will provide you with new challenges and rewards every single day. At the same time, more rewards are now available for progression have also been increased. We've added the drop of Elite and Legend pack in the progression track and you'll keep getting extra rewards even if you finish the whole progression. Nice. We have also optimized the chest event. The chest event will now be an open draw, meaning you can be sure which item you will get for certain within a given number. Oh, that is cool. Let's go. So now no matter what, you'll guarantee to get the weapon that you want. It's like a guarantee now, like after a certain amount spent. For a pulls, let's say 50 pulls. In the past, you couldn't be certain about that. Additionally, on any PC version, the update will now support the direct purchase of weekly and the monthly cards, offering more choices for you to support. The Let's go, PC players! Now you guys can buy it directly. You don't have to log into your phone anymore. The game's development. Personal profiles also have some exciting new additions. In the future, your profile will display a popularity score. Encountered a good teammate? Give them a follow to boost their popularity. At the same time, you'll be able to view the history of visitors to your profile. Oh, become talking about my God. social features. <laughs> it literally became TikTok slash Tinder now. Now you can literally see who visited you, whoever followed you, increase your popularity. I love it. First, I guess you have encountered this weird situation. You see a friend when you log into the game. You want to invite them, play together, but they're already in a match. You wait, wait, wait. And he finally finished that match. You press invite, but he's in match making again. After the update, you won't get this kind of trouble anymore. You can schedule to play with your friends who are currently in the game. Of course, if they indeed don't want to play with you, sadly, it's okay, we'll find another one. Now, you finally managed to find a friend to play together and you're in matchmaking now. While you wait, you want to claim the event and seasonal rewards, but you find that you can't click. Oh my god, they finally added this. After the update, this will happen no more. You can now claim the rewards whenever you see them. Finally, before everyone in your team's gone after a match, you will relive your highlights in the game. Every brilliant moment is worth watching and analyzing repeatedly. And I mean repeatedly. I'm sure you'll want to watch that a thousand times. Okay, that's all for the update on November 30th. It's also almost December and we've prepared some community holidays events for everyone. So once again, subscribe and follow us so you don't miss out on these free holidays reward. Okay, so cool. The next events will be community-based events. I'm guessing on social media and stuff. I don't think anything on Christmas or winter in-game. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. Get the game updated on November 30th. I'm Lazy Cass, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
November 30th, guys. Five more days. That's awesome, guys. So well, uh, five more days until the update, guys. Please let me know what you guys think of the changes. The cap captain looks absolutely different. Uh, at least we got Cypher skin, uh, Cypher revamp as well. So yeah, a lot of things are happening and a lot of good changes. Just let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, guys, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for the almighty algorithm, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.